Go grab Pookie's collar, now! I will walk your pet because it is right, not for your sake. I have acquired the collar. Now bring it back. Obviously. Stupid. <clears throat> now, you're gonna walk my child around and help him do his business. And if you do it wrong, you will suffer. Oh, poop. A great confounder you walk. one speak before. Haven't you ever seen an enchanted collar before? <laughs> what a rude. to your slobbering jaws. Life has chewed me up, and finally... I will be swallowed. Now, it's time to get Pookie to the park. You just walk the park, don't you, <clears throat> my little cuddle bucket? Now, Mush. Don't get too rough. He's 
a sensitive boy. Look at that stupid guppy puppy thinking he can just waltz in our crap park and we're not gonna do nothing about it. It's insulting is what it is. Sea war people, I swear. Oh, those bullies. Hey, you. There's a little teeny rune on Poopy's collar. Go ahead and hit it for me. Play time, Poop. <laughs> Dying, those Crab Park dudes said something about Pookie being like a legend. What was that about? If you'd read the tie in novel, you'd understand. Yeah, Valentine, I did. What, when? In the last point three nanoseconds. Oh, well, how was it? Surprisingly moving. Took you long enough. Now it's beating time. Turn on his collar again so he can eat like this. I sense evil. Hold on to something.
Just in time, my dear Lachance, wind of my heart sail has been captured. It's that thieving pirate lord, Long Bronzed Gilbert. I aim to run him through with a rusty <laughs> cutlass, but alas, he wears the most potent protection, the Chance's plot armor. After oh. Gilbert's sweet talked his way onto our boat last night, he stole the Chance away and vanished. Must have been using that sea sorcery that's so popular here on the island. Go talk with the local witch doctor. We'll have to fight fire with fire. Plot armor is precious booty. No man can die when wearing it, so the legends go. But somehow, he'll bear pride the armor off my chance. Unless he... No, he had to have used some magic devilry. The witch doctor's an old friend. Her magics helped me out of many a sea pickle, which is like a sea cucumber, but even huh. brightier. Huh. Uh. Excuse me? Um, Hale, are you the witch doctor? I sure hope no one wakes me up. That be she, but she be asleep. Or in a trance. Or a sleep trance. Find a way to wake her from her witchy slumbers. Up you go! Well, blow me down! That trance be deeper than a sunken semiotician! <clears throat> but have no fear. There's a cannon not far that you might commandeer. Sure to course! No, Aldrin. <clears throat> Welcome to Yes We Cannon! Here for all your cannon needs! If you need something louder, we've got the powder. Uh, care to give it a blast, me lord? D? Oh, very quaint, don't you agree, me lordy? Yes, but I'm looking for less quaint and more thunderous. You understand? Oh, just sorry, shot! The lordy wants it louder! Bring her down below and swap her up with something what kicks proper! Let's show him what the far mountain clan can do! At the ready! This will not do. Only the loudest cannon will suffice. If possible, I need it to be too loud. Is that clear? But the dragon cannon is forbidden. Ever since it woke the dragons of the far mountain in the last age. Splendid! Step to it, lad! Very well. Uh, dragon cannon... Uh, dragon cannon hoist! Right, you dogs! Raise hoy that elder boar from which all worldly sorrows were shot! Today, we rouse the hells themselves! That's a bit exciting. Put your backs and do it, you sorry spineless as a sword! Don't keep the customer waiting all day! It's been a moment more, I'm sure. Holler up, Buster! The Lord is dying all age up here! I am so sorry, me lordy, for your new cannon. I'm ready, me lordy. All right. I'm awake. Wait, uh, I'm awake? Who woke me from my very death like but 
Instantly alive trance! Ugh, stupid cannons again! Oh my goodness, that was loud. Oh, what's so bloody important that I couldn't get a little shut-eye? A brigand needs to face justice, but he wears plot armor. Can it be destroyed? Destroy plot armor? Impossible! Unless you're a cunning witch doctor like myself. I can't destroy it per se, but the curse of true character could turn a crusty coward into a smaller creature, and the armor would fall right off. Well, then again, they might transform into a vicious giant monster, well, depending on their character. Either or. I must have misheard you. I, I thought you said transform into a giant monster. Tell you what. Meet me at the Ravenous Caverns, and we'll put the curse together! Together! It's a good thing you arrived when you did. A coven of coils showed up at my hut the other day, claiming my magic cauldron for their own. We'll reclaim it soon, but we need the proper ingredients first. Let's see, hags! Comrades and concubines of Long Bronze Crew, <clears throat> there they are! Bones! So it's you who wants <clears throat> to destroy some plot armor. Didn't Lachance own some? I thought you two were flotsam bound together in a foamy sea of love. Aye, we are now and always will be. But the chance has been kidnapped, and his plot armor sits on the burly chest of Long Bronze Gilbert. I won't rest till my love is in my arms and my blade in Gilbert's gut. No, then, baby! cursed souls head to the grave of the bone-picked pirates they made the mistake of spending a night in these haunted caves only eaten alive by cursed crabs now they too share the curse transforming to their true crabby form when they grow weak summon them with the caster and when they transform put them out of their misery we'll use their salty essence to make the curse I didn't always trust the witch doctor so, but she's never failed to haul me backside out of the brine. Once she's got her cauldron, I'm confident she can concoct a cure for our conundrum. Now place the hex caster and watch it work its magic. Coiled crones have given more sailors peg legs. 
than the diamond sword dagger scissorines. of my undead crew, once we make you dead first, that is. <laughs> crew, attack! Hold out best you can! Old Bones is on his way! Devastation inbound! Do all better! This strength wave! Sorceress arts? Would you be asking for my help if I wasn't? Now <clears throat> you, drop the curse essence into the cauldron. Ah, oh, tis a powerful kindness you do me. A thousand thanks. It's done. Gather it up in the hex caster and you can transform long bronze skilled bear out of that armor. Well done, witch doctor. And you, me hearty. Whatever your name or profession may be. Now to Long Bronze Skill Bear's Cave to rescue La Chance. We better get a move on. We've had a long walk, followed by a longer swim. You can swim, can't ye? Bones, I'm insulted. Let me just whip up a portal for you. <laughs> You've been with La Chance for many moons, Bones. Why haven't you made you your first mate for life? Oh, tis a fair question, Witch Doctor. And after Long Bronzed Gilbert sinks to the salty deep and the chance is free, I just might. <clears throat> now, try to parley. No more blood needs to be shed, unless that blood be the blood of Long Bronzed Gilbert. I declare parley. I'm here to talk with your captain. Parley, do you have an appointment? Parley, I don't make appointments. I'm an adventurer. I'm always welcome. Parley, may I ask then, what is the nature of this proposed chat with Captain Gilbert? Parley, to demand he release Le Chance at once. Parley, that seems like a threat. I thought we were parleying. Maybe learn some manners, you know, 
No way we're letting you in with that barbaric attitude. Damn the ancient and subtle code of parley! Pirate law protects these scallywags, so we can't just fight through. Blast. How I wish we could simply curse the lot of them. Wait, can we do that? Brilliant! That just might work! Sea creatures probably aren't under the purview of pirate law. Hit them with a hexy! It's work! Look! Their characters may conspicuous by their cowardly carapaces! Now, kill those cute crabs! That was a close one. We almost broke pirate law. We might have had to suffer through pirate court, a pirate fight, or even pirate community service! Now to finally kill that beguiling Gilbert and free my lovely Lachance! Onward! <sighs> that body. I worked so hard to firm up that coccyx. But there's no time, Bones, darling. You've got to stop Gilbert. I, oh, I, I don't know how much longer I can weather this storm. Come, me hearty. The murdering bastard's on his ship, making ready to flee. Three, one, 
Bones, there's someone here who'd like to see you. Bones, can you hear me, Bones? The chance, my love, you're you're free, free and waiting for you. You always come for me, Bonesy, and sure is the time. Here you are. Oh, the chance. But I'm a skeleton, and ye be not but ether. We can't truly be together, unless... Unless me matey here uses some sea sorcery! Me hearty, hex me! Is that truly your wish? Usually, curses are to be avoided. Sure is sure! Once I'm a fearsome giant crab, I'll pop right out of me plot armor, and then ye can unmoor my ghostly spirit from my corporeal bonds! complicated sea sorcery ritual. Well, don't just stand there talking about it. Get me spirit out of here! Uh, if you please. Sure thing, Bones. Hold still. Bibbidi-ba-donga-bum! It worked! At long last, I'm free of that cursed Moni prison! Oh, Bones. You're just as beautiful as the day we met. My love, when I'm with you, I'm the luckiest pirate in all the seas. I give up all the nautical debauchery in the world for just one more a chance. <laughs> You're a terrible scoundrel. <laughs> Dark, and don't ye forget it, love. As for you. I bequeath to ye me chest of worldly plunder. We won't be needing it where we're going. Tis all yours, me hearty. Now come see us away. Tis terrible luck starting a journey without a proper send-off. Well, friends, and may our paths cross again before your voyage ends. What? The voyage? <laughs> but where to? We have no chart. I don't need a map to know we're bound for adventure, dearest. Let's get away from all this. Away, chance away. We'll go away together. Away, chance away. We'll far away go.
Alas, poor Crabbert. Do you have a pet? I hope you tell them how perfect and spiny their shells are every day. My beloved pet crab, Crabbert, passed away. Natural causes. Last night I buried him in the sands. But this morning, I went to visit, and a sea warg had dug out his shell. Please, bring back his shell. I just want him to be at peace. Forces of darkness encroach. You should have yielded when you had the chance. You are remarkably lethal for your size. Be gone, coward!
hero. I know that he'll never return to me, but I had to make sure he was at peace. Wait, 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 hold up. I just got sad. Crabber the Crab was actually just asleep. <gasps> Crabber, you're alive! <gasps> Who's the pinchiest boy? Is it you? It's you! Kinda undercut the emotion of the moment. Shut up! It's a magical world and I say pets live forever! <laughs> 